white light do, 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 do. Alcohol, go, alcohol, white light, white light How's it going folks? Welcome back to Cole Plays. This is Until Dawn. My name is Cole Spire and I am joined once again by Gwen. And we are continuing Until Dawn. In the last one, we got introduced to apparently the monster. Which is the Wendigo. The Wendigo. So we got crazy crazy guy Josh who was setting up this elaborate plan for a revenge prank. And then we have the Wendigo, Wendigo who are actual killers. Who are... <laughs> Well, the the crazy guy said the crazy stranger guy said if you eat human flesh on this mountain, the spirit of the Wendigo will return. Don't really know what that means, but I guess we can I'm, hopefully find out. I'm guessing that has to do with the miners and the fact that they became cannibal, and that's the reason why there's Wendigo on this mountain. Uh, so they were eating people. All right. Well, that. Makes me feel so much more safer that they turned into a supernatural being that eats human flesh. It's awesome. Which apparently he's trying to get er eradicated, but... So awesome. Alright, let's look at our statuses and collectibles. This is why I don't go camping. Camping is completely safe. Oh, so... Um... He is not so brave now. Oop. Well, that's a hard-on for Ashley. If I ever saw one, it 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 grew. <laughs> okay, so he is he lost charitability. Bravery is completely out the window, but I wouldn't be too brave either. Uh, his romance went way up because Ashley kissed him. So sweet. Uh, okay, so but he's being honest and he he's, he's being curious. honest and romantic and curious, and he's funny still, kind of, sort of. I didn't, I didn't know he was funny. Well, <laughs> he's he's quirky funny, not funny funny. All right, so we got an update to the twins. Which, did we not look at it before? We must have missed it. Must have missed that one. All right, uh, okay. Postcard. Postcard. So I think the... Stranger is... Yeah, Billy was part of the crew that blasted new tunnels deep into the mines. And I think Billy is the crazy guy right now. Well... I don't know. He'd have to be a lot older, wouldn't he? Or do you think he's about the right age? He looks like... Well, he looks like he's been sucking on cigar or cigars for the last 20 years. But I think it's him. 1952... <laughs> He would have had to have been, like, a teenager in his 20s. Yeah, which would be around the time that you go working in the mines. There are a ton of updates for this. Because Josh... Yeah, Josh... Josh posted all this bullshit. I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I've waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. That's still creepy. Another one of Josh's setups, there was no psycho. Yeah, so this is just saying it's... Lair from the cellar. <laughs> the strange man near the lodge was the flamethrower guy. Update, these must have been Windigo sightings. The mystery guy was collecting. How many pigs died just so that Josh could punk his friends? It's just a prank, bro. Uh, Josh put the axe here as part of his plan to freak his friends out. Yeah, this is all Josh stuff. Josh was going to upload all of this to the internet because he thought it was a good idea. Josh had plenty of opportunity to take these over the last year. Josh needed the guts for his death machine. That's some commitment to realism. Uh, this is how Josh controlled the TV, doors, lights, and the lodge. Josh had the newspapers fake to back up his psycho story. Josh made the board to honor the memory of his sisters. No shit. Josh used a voice modifier to sound like the psycho. And we only found one totem. We're getting close to the top of one of them. It's him with the gun doing something. Not shooting. 
Not that I think it's just not shooting something. Oh, lots of this. And which one will die? Oh, uh, Josh was sympathetic to Chris and antagonized Mike. Who gets the gun? Emily gave the flare gun to Matt. Emily has no defense against the attack and was bitten. I didn't see her get bit. Did you see her get bit? Yeah, um, <clears throat> as she latched the door to the place after she escaped, there was a little butterfly effect, and he reached through the door and grabbed her, and then she, she, uh... Does that mean she's gonna become a Wendigo? I don't know. I think she, because she hasn't tasted flesh, so I think she might be okay, but... Okay, so Ashley took the scissors, Ashley stabbed the psycho. The psycho gave Ashley a black eye. Uh, and Chris hit Josh. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna hear more about Emily getting bit. Like, they're gonna freak out. Well, look, one's bitten. Yeah. Okay, so point blank. Uh, Chris didn't shoot Ashley. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. And then one's bitten. Emily was bitten. Yep. Okay. Follow the strange man and rescue Josh. Rescue the crazy guy. Are we ready to follow the strange man? Ready. Ugh, all right. <laughs> Let's go. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? Oh, <laughs> that's good to know. I don't like fire. Well, I don't like fucker. Yeah. Their skin is like it's like tough armor. Unless you burn unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? So, I mean, are do they, they have hide armor then? Or, I mean, can you <laughs> figure out what they do? You're a horrible person. schedules well they only hunt at night oh so they're nocturnal i didn't ask i didn't ask either I'd be like hey mr windigo can i have a question are you nocturnal or do you just like hiding at night if i rub garlic all over me they can be able to smell me or something uh, they'll still smell you anything like that i can't see you if you're standing still standing still Sight is based on changing the movement in their field vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically... So serpentine apparently is what you're doing. I'm I'm just going straight forward. It's <laughs> he's wigging out. What a choice. Serpentine. <laughs> Well, that's locked. Do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? No. Change certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? What do you know? They surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no yeah, redemption. What happened? Ah, oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Damn it. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Oh. He keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. Oh. So a wonderful death. They... I'd rather face down a pack of velociraptors. Dude, flamethrower guy, come back. I'm not e I'm not even searching in there. Don't care. Wait. Don't move. Not moving. Oh, 
Boom. Well, he's dead. I want to know how does this guy live on the mountain all this time and then just randomly die right now? Horror movie. Oh. Oh. Run. That would have been bad. Ow! Oh, that's a broken ankle. Because of course it is. Oh, come on! The thing, we that was from the totem. Oh my god, what happened? Yeah, we gotta go. That thing was like right That thing. Ah! Go, 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 go. Cause, Cause the door, a glass door is gonna. Oh, that is horrifying. Wait, is there more than one? Yeah. Oh come on. So good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Well, that was what, like three or four that was after Josh? Uh, or, I mean, after Chris? There was two after Chris. And then um, the one was dragging off Josh. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. Are these all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing Ooh. lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Well, aren't you, Mr. Macho? And what is all that? So, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There had been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying. It's Shut weird. up! How much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing, it just, it, oh no, it, it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really, it's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't... It's not a zombie thing. It's not that bad. M. It's gonna turn into a werewolf I, now. I know it's Ow! Fine. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Oh, is that how it worked? Yes, it happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
You can't be down here with us. What, Mike? You gotta go. What? Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell, I am. Emily. Fucked up, y'all. Stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> you have been voted off the island. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no. You're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go... Go get out of here. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Mike, calm down. You're Don't you're shoot. shoot. Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Don't. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Okay, don't shoot. We were told not to shoot. Yep. That was our scene. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Although I could have blasted her in the face. For now. She was a bitch, but she didn't deserve that. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. What makes him so ballsy thinking he can go by himself? Can someone answer me that, please? So something tells me that Emily and the rest of these guys are not going to be um, friends. That, that he was going to help us. With a flame After this. Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. Gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Cannibalism, desperate, increased food, trapped on the mountain, blah blah blah, corpses. Death toll rises. Animals which lived on the mountain, it became scared to the. There's a lot of history to this. Stillness, totally, trying not to kill them. Perfectly mimic its prey. This it can perfectly mimic... ...are mutated from humans. When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Fuck! I have killed six Wendigos. Go back! Oh, it's about the bite. The bite is harmless. But I did not change. I can't go back. Oh. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I've been bitten, but I did not change. The only way to is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh. Oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Should we reassure her? Ashley looks like she's going a bit fucking crazy. Uh, I would say we should do the right thing and, and reassure, reassure her. her. Otherwise, she's going to turn into a crazy psycho bitch. It says that... The bites... It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um. So oh, she's going to get punched. Fine. You're about ready to kick me out there to get die. Now you're telling me I'm not gonna be a Wendigo? That's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, Emily. Please, please just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bitch slapped her. Just <laughs> she kind of deserved it. Yeah, she did. Now. 
What did it say? Take the book. Take the gun. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Oh, Joshua. Uh. Because of your choices. Uh. Yeah, now we're in a forested office. Triggering a little weird. Lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur, because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger. Something tells me this Doctor Hill is actually just in Josh's head. It's a possibility. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. Oh, he's all fucked up. It's always all about you. Well, he did hit him. That happened. Has gone terribly wrong. And your friends like your sisters have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? He's so fucking creepy. You hurt them. Joshua, why did you hurt them? They hurt me or I didn't hurt anyone. <coughs> um Well, they obviously hurt him if he wanted revenge. Okay. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. It's very true. Just a prank, bro. That's pretty much what Should he was saying before. He wasn't sorry. <laughs> well, he was sorry after they got they caught him. So you want to just say it was just a game? Sure. Just a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. Karma. Two hours until dawn. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Back at the fucking sanatorium. I don't like this place. Well, and he just made it so they can't follow him. Uh, I mean, I get why he locked it, because he doesn't want the thing to, but the thing already knows about this I have a feeling the thing knows these tunnels very very well and they're not giving up clues all that much anymore because we pretty much got everything figured out now so I guess what we're just looking for totems maybe I'm not sure And he doesn't have any weapons just in case this thing does show up. Right? Um, does he have that machete still? Um, sure he does. Because they did say in the in the, the collectibles and stuff that... I think it's still in his pant loop. Yeah, it's still in his pant loop, I can see it. But still, that's... What's he gonna do with it? Nothing. So nothing new in here. This thing is going to jump out at me, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, is the wolf still here? Holy shit. Huh. Things happened. What happened to the wolves? Oh, wolf buddy's not here anymore. Alright, so I looked at that already, right? Yep. So what exactly were we coming in here to look for? Uh, push pause or whatever and see what our mission is. Doesn't say. Doesn't it usually say where his character thing is? Oh. Get through the sanatorium to find Josh and the cable car key. Okay. Well, we haven't been up those stairs. Well, I'm it didn't let us last yeah, time. Yeah, it didn't let us last time. Wait, 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 what was that? What is that? Is that a weapon? That's a thing. Well, can I grab this? No, that's a candelabra. Never mind. <laughs> hey, it's a good hitting implement. And if you go by Castlevania logic, there's stuff in there. drop down into our room. No! Man. Yeah, he's got the machete in his pants, look. Alright, let's find something we haven't found. Yeah, a be... torch! No, wait, a, a torch Sh and a Sawed gun. off shotgun. Yay, weapon! I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Well, aren't you fucking funny? Now take the shotgun. There you go. See, you're you're being somewhat smart. He only took one handful of. <coughs> Good enough. I'd be like loading up all my pockets with fucking shotgun shells. Uh, can you go back for more? Get more shells? No, you can't go back for more. Is there anything else in here? No. gun draw attention draw attention to ourselves this is a, he needs to be standing a little farther back you know ricocheted bullets and all that fun stuff where are the wolves there he is look there's our buddy hey, at least at least i hope it's yeah it's our, our buddy again huh hey when I'd run into you again. He put He put the belt loop in the he put, he put the gun in the same belt loop that has his machete. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Dog's like you're fucking nuts. Ah, what? <sighs> All right. Well, before we go into the crazy dark hole and all that stuff, that is all the time we have for right now, folks. Thank you for joining us once again. Join us next time to see what happens. Oh, I'm <laughs> waiting for the thing to jump out and chase me, and the dog's going to die, and I'm going to be upset about the dog dying or whatever. Um, <laughs> God. This fucking game. We still don't know what's happening with Matt. Uh, you can't turn into a Wendigo by being bit by one, because they're not zombies. 
It's not an infection. It's not an infection. Uh, Ashley has crazy eyes. M is Emily is about ready to kill everybody. Because they were about ready to throw her out for being bitten. Yeah, Sam is kind of fed up with everything. And uh, Chris is turned into a little bitch, so... And Mike is just like the macho man, let's get shit done. Well, he does kind of look like Nathan Drake, but, you know. Um, he kind of has this Nathan Drake meets Army of Darkness yeah. thing going. <laughs> so, I hope you join us next time, because we will be playing more of this. Uh, my name is Cole Spire. I've been joined by... Gwen. And... Uh, we if you, thank you for joining us and if you want to follow me on any of the social medias all of the links are down below and we will see you guys next time uh...